Tonight, a local organization is bringing together two communities that have faced so much heartbreak in recent years. New tonight, ABC 10's Luke Clary shows us how they're building bridges between AAPI and LGBTQ plus voices. United by heartbreak in recent years, the AAPI and LGBTQ plus communities building a bridge at Sacramento's Unity Against Hate Forum. And, and using your voice. Marja Izumi speaks as a Japanese American mother to a transgender son. Now I hope they look and say, I know a mother and I know her son. And I hope that changes them. Her son battled mental health challenges. Too often, she says, Asian Americans struggle alone. I know in our Asian community, we don't reach out for support in this area because of the stigma of, oh, you're, you can't handle it. You know, it's like you're weak or you're not strong enough. Sacramento County's first Asian American district attorney, Tyne Ho, says Asian Americans also face barriers when it comes to seeking help from law enforcement, too. Some of it deals with the language barrier. Some of it deals with the cultural barrier. Some of it deals with fear and distrust of law enforcement. And so as a partner in law enforcement, one of the things that we have to do is build a bridge and be that bridge to all communities. And he says representation is key. Out of 2,400 elected district attorneys in the country, elected DAs, I am only currently the fifth that is of Asian descent. It's the reason why organizers are putting together more events like this one. So the reason I do this work is because I think it's so important to have that visibility and voice so that maybe somebody else will actually seek mental health. Building connections to mental health services and law enforcement. These two communities finding common ground.